Hey folks, so it's another garage video. I was busy as heck guest uh, last week. So anyway, here we are. So I'm insulating this wall and the first project is to re-insulate these um, lines that go to this heat pump. Um, they've seen really better days, so I'm gonna tear all that off there and fix that. But before I can do that, I need to make some space to get in here and work on this. So, you know, here we are. That'll just make some more space, at least until some freight shows up today. Okay, so the purpose of replacing this tubing insulation is to prevent moisture from forming inside the wall. As you see, my hand's really wet. It's only been running in air conditioning mode for a few minutes. When it runs in heat pump mode, this one gets cold, that one gets hot. But in air conditioning mold or mode, this is cool, but this is cold. Um, and this is a Fujitsu with an electronic expansion valve. It's different from what most houses have. Normally this pipe wouldn't be quite this cold, um, but, you know, it just is what it is. Okay, so there you go. I have re-insulated the lines where they go through the wall. It cost me about $25. Um, this stuff's about $5, $7 a, a piece. You use two pieces for each size. This is 3 8 line, but I went ahead and used half inch insulation. It'll be okay. Um, I don't know where you'd really get 3 8 insulation. Maybe a, maybe an AC house, but most of theirs is designed to slip fit over the line set before installation. And um, yeah, so you know, anywhere you have a line set installed, you should have nail protector plates to prevent an accidental piercing of your air conditioning, which will lead to expensive repairs. Um, and uh, that's that's pretty much it. So next I'm going to work on insulation in the walls. And unfortunately Home Depot and Lowe's can't seem to find 24 inch. So I've got to piece together some 15 inch stuff. Uh, so you'll see me doing some weird stuff with it. Brick. Okay, so I'm going to start putting the insulation in. I've got a couple pieces of bat insulation uh, that, that go the full length. And then i got to piece the rest of it together, which is going to be a pain in the butt. So you're going to see me skip these two cavities have to be because there's there are some braces from where i used to have a closet here yeah it's just it's gonna be a mess anyway here we go
All right, so I'm gonna pause for the moment because I'm actually kind of irritated about insulation. I can't get the size that I need. I really need 23 inch R13 in rolls and uh, nobody's making it or selling it right now. So that's pissing me off because it means I have to half-ass all this insulation and I don't really like that. I know there's probably some smart ass insulation guru out there that's gonna sharpshoot my job. Yeah, you know, I don't care. You can fly a kite as soon as a thunderstorm comes along, and I hope you get a charge out of it. Uh, at any rate, it's just a garage, and uh, it'll, it'll be just fine once I get some plywood on it. I've got some plywood over there. Uh, you know, plywood has gotten ungodly expensive. I think that's enough to do the lower four feet, and I've got a couple sheets behind me. So, we'll see. Um, but I'm going to stop for now. i got a couple things to do on the computer, and I'll roll this video up. Please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it and to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what you're watching so you'll see more of it check out the playlist that's how i organize my different ideas and pursuits thanks for watching